Well, as our example, Christ endured without retaliation, and the result of the sacrifice is that we are healed spiritually. Well, if you're joining us in reading through this 60-day reading plan, today's reading is 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 21 through 25, and I encourage you to read that passage. A number of years ago, I worked with a man who brought me to verse 24 to prove to me that Jesus healed all sickness from believers by his death on the cross. He was using that theology to bolster his opinion that no Christian needed to be sick, but rather by believing in Christ and that he had healed us, that we as Christians could live our lives pain and sickness free. Unfortunately, this verse does not say that, nor does our experience validate his position. All one need do is read the book of Acts and early Christianity to see that the earliest believers did not believe that there would be no sickness or death among believers. This type of theology is a direct result of the holiness movement found at the end of the 19th century here in the United States. Well, so what exactly does it mean when it says that Jesus healed us through his stripes? It means that we are no longer bound to sin. We are no longer bound to Satan, and we can see Romans 6 through 8 for that. But while we are healed, we are not completely changed. We as Protestants struggle with the concept of being accounted righteous. It doesn't necessarily match with our day-to-day struggles. So, it's better to look at our righteousness as being perfected in heaven and being worked out here while we are on earth. We recognize that we still sin, and we also recognize that we have the ability to prevent that sin by allowing the Holy Spirit to work in our lives. So, by his stripes we are healed, and that healing takes place in heaven. While we are here on earth, we need to practice the Philippians 2.12 principle, and that is to be working out our salvation through fear and trembling. Remember, the salvation that Peter and Paul addressed was one of sanctification or becoming holy. It is through our works that we grow in Christ.